Hello, my name is Mark Pimentel. I'm a CAM specialist here at Hawker Systems. And in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can create a helical milling toolpath inside of CAMWorks and SOLIDWORKS CAM. So helical milling is a technique for your, your roughing and your finishing toolpaths where you want to have a constant pressure, a constant down pressure on the tool. Or in more common cases, uh, you don't have a tool changer on your machine and you want to use a single tool for everything on your part, including holes that regularly would have been drilled. So let's take a look at helical milling inside of the software. So what I want to do is I want to apply it to hole group 9. Now this is a half inch set of, tool of holes on my part. And currently, they are being drilled out. If we take a look at the current toolpath, it's using a half-inch drill to just do a drilling operation. And that is directly from my default tech DB. But on this machine, assuming that this is maybe a router, I can only use a quarter-inch tool, or I prefer to use a quarter-inch tool on everything on this machine. Uh, so I'll go in here, and I'll just right-click. And because it's a hole, I'm going to continue to use hole machining operations, but I'm going to use a contour mill operation. Now you could also do this for your circular pockets, however you define your parts, however you define your features, but I want this to recognize all my holes as uh, something that would use this particular operation. So again, on this router, I probably only have a quarter inch tool, so I'll just grab that quarter inch tool, and that way I can take this quarter inch flat end mill, do all my pockets, do all my profiles, and do the helical milling on my holes. I can go to contour, and the secret to helical milling is basically in the ramp. Now, normally we think of ramp as how it's going to enter into the part, but here, what we can do is we can use the option for cut amount. And what that'll do is it'll actually allow it to do what would kind of look like a helix as it goes down the part. Now, it'll look like a helix because this is a hole, but you can apply this to any of your pockets. So any of these regularly shaped pockets on my part, I could use the same functionality to do a helical progression along the walls of that hole. All I'm doing here is setting it to a cut amount with each lap around the pocket, or in this case, lap around the circumference of that hole, it will step down by 50% of my tool diameter. Now I can set whatever option I want here as well, especially since we're looking at this as a helix, I could set this as a certain depth per cut as it goes along. But I'm just gonna use the 50% just to remain conservative. Also, I'll make sure to add the cleanup pass on the bottom because again, we will be generating a helical progression. I wanna make sure I do that final lap to clean up the walls so I don't leave any kind of witness lines or anything like that. Specific to the hole, I'll make sure that I enter and exit at the hole center. Again, because this is to replace a drilling operation. So I wanna get that same functionality where I know it's just gonna go right down the center and exit right down the center. And then finally, a lead in probably want to use a perpendicular lead-in just to go from that hole center directly to the wall circumference and then exit that as well. So I'm just going to set that as perpendicular for the entry and the exit. If I quickly do a preview and zoom in on one of these pockets, you can see that what we get is essentially a replacement of that drill operation. I start at, at the center and I do my helix until I get down to the bottom and then I do just a nice little lap around there to make sure I clean up those walls. If I run that in my simulation, we can see that we get a replacement for that drilling operation. So what we're doing here is we're using the same tool for all our operations, thus reducing the number of tool changes, or in the case of a machine that doesn't have an automatic tool changer, I'm, a, I'm fi finding a way to use a single tool for everything on the part. And oftentimes that single tool use uh, comes into conflict with the fact that we have holes we need to drill. So helical milling allows you to add something that can do your holes, and because it's defined for a hole, I can save that back to my TechDB and use that as a strategy every time it finds any type of size of hole on my router. If you like this video and the other ones on our channel, please like and subscribe, and stay tuned for the other videos on this channel for more information. Thanks for watching.